That was a great one. You're on. Okay, hi. I'm Kristen Stork with the Denver Post, and it's Poverty Day at Leadership Denver. Um, one of the most powerful experiences that I had as part of today was the SNAP Food Stamp Challenge. Um, I took it for, for seven days. Um, it was led by Hunger Free Colorado, and they encouraged us to try and live on $4.56 a day, which is the food stamp allotment for a single individual. Um, in doing it for a week, that meant I had about $32, and I don't grocery shop well to begin with, so I went to the grocery store with a uh, very specific list and a calculator, and it was um, rather embarrassing to walk up and down the aisles uh, calculating what things were going to cost and what having to put things back and uh, going to the uh, cashier and deciding to cashier myself because I didn't want anyone else to look at what I was buying. Um, and, and I came in about $1.57 um, shy of my $32. So had that for the remainder of the week. Um, ate a lot of rice and beans, peanut butter and jelly, pasta during the week. Was hungry much of the week, which caused I hadn't really thought about what that was gonna do for my focus at work. And it was an issue. I was tired and not as focused as I usually am. Um, by Friday, which was my day six, I was craving a candy bar um, in a big bad way. And I went to the convenience store across the street from my office thinking, well, I'll just spend my last dollar fifty-seven at this convenience store. And in an effort to try and be true to the exercise, I asked them if they took food stamps and the lady at the counter um, made a face at me and actually said, no, we don't take food stamps. Uh, and thus I did not get my candy bar until much later that evening when I was able to go to a grocery store that would have accepted food stamps. So it was a powerful challenge and I'm glad to be able to share it. I'm glad I had the opportunity to um, take it and I would encourage others to consider doing it as well. That's a perfect 